Hi everyone, uh, this is John Michael. Um, I'm just going to redo this video simply because um, in the last one I was filming uh, vertically and yeah, it was quite uh, ugly but I cut some pretty interesting footage of my wolf spider fighting at the end of the video so I don't want to uh, completely remove that. But I also want to uh, to have a better quality and since there is less rain right now uh, I believe the audio will be better as well so um, the grass is uh, growing as you can see and oh yeah uh, by the way this is uh, GM insect discovery so like I said in the previous video I have more than one millipede now uh, now I have three of them and I believe that one of them is a male and the two other big ones are females. Um, also I catch a lot of wool spider and right now uh, this thing right here this is one of them and sorry I move a little um, I believe this one is one of the big female I catch today simply because well we can clearly see how big her abdomen is and she will lay some egg real soon so that will be interesting um, so yeah um, I have some new wool spider, I have some new uh, millipede and also like I said in the uh, last video I removed a big branch uh, simply so there will be more um, space for us to see and also a little bit more space for me to play around simply because well you know it was a really big unpractic uh, unpractical uh, branch but I replaced it with some smaller uh, branch and some leaves and also some uh, nice little rock um, so yes um, if you if you want some uh, more detailed information and you're not um, afraid of the vertical image um, you can look at the other video but um, <coughs> really what I was saying in the other video is simply that um, there even if there is a lot of rain um, like right now I don't know if it will show in the video or not but anyway um, since we're like just below this uh, rooftop, the rain don't come here. Uh, there is a rain uh, that are dropping here, but really there is like not a lot of rain that is raining directly uh, inside the vivarium. And even if there was like a diluvian rain or something like that, I wouldn't be afraid simply because the only place where rain can come is uh, from the um, the hole that was supposed to be for the uh, hanging back filter back when this uh, thing was actually the aquarium but really as you can see it is way in the back and there is not much rain that can uh, come from there and a little bit of rain from here and there um, can really help the moss to um, to propagate and everything and this is great and as I said in the other video um, I moved the aquarium from uh, there sorry from there to there simply so it can get a little bit more um, more sun and uh, inside of this bucket is my uh, little froggy named Pepe like the meme um, so yes um, since I don't know if the audio will be good um, in the more specific video I did about this frog uh, this is Pepe I uh, literally save it from a certain death and uh, I will only keep it for like a week or two and then release it back in uh, nature 
and replace it with other frogs I will save as well. So we, we will have a continual circle of frogs. So yes, this is Pepe. Um, she's quite nice and oh, sorry Pepe I kind of dropped you um, but yeah it's a nice little frog and it will be happy to uh, come back in nature in one week and as I said I will uh, show you well not show you but I will film a video about how I um, I save it and about how you can save some frogs as well and also the proper way to um, to handle them simply because they have some sensitive skin and it is important to um, to be really gentle with them um, so yes um, that was uh, Pepe the frog like the me and uh, even if there is uh, like this uh, this piece right here um, as you can see, it's not really tight, so there is a lot of oxygen um, that is coming inside of it, so I'm not worried about it. And since um, it is in the same place as um, this vivarium, uh, it gets a lot of shade, but also a little bit of sun. So it won't get too cold nor too hot. So uh, Pepe will be okay, and I will feed with um, well pretty much all I catch for this vardium um, so the the insect that go in this place they are the lucky guys the one that go inside of this little bucket well they are food <laughs> um, so yes um, I hope you you like uh, this little update about my exterior adventure um, and I will see you real soon in the next episode of uh, Insect Discovery. And yeah, I will do some fish keeping videos uh, today as well. But since I'm uh, back from a trip from um, camping, I'm kind of tired. So uh, most of the video won't be um, too complicated today. But don't worry, this is only an update of one of my projects. And there is a lot coming real soon. So thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you real soon. And let's zoom on this big ugly spider to do the outro. Bye.